Hey guys, uh, if you're on fighter, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Turtle Beach X41s. Now, I had a, I had a video on how to set up the X31s. Now, I got these for Christmas, and I'm going to show you how to set up the X41s. It's actually very, very easy. Now, this is everything that comes in the box. It comes with an optical cable, as you can see there. It comes with the power source, the uh, receiver, whatever, and the headset itself. It also comes with a chat cord, but that's behind me. I'm not going to bother getting that. Alright, so basically what you're going to do, it's very, very easy. You're going to, this is all that comes in the box. So what you're going to do, you're going to turn this around. So as you can see here, that you can use, you can plug your Xbox directly into here using your white and red. Um, I decided not to do that because I'd rather have my audio going through my TV too. I can just, you know, whatever, turn it up and down. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to plug your optical cable into the um, in. So the very top one here, see so if I can focus it. There you go. You're gonna plug it right into the end. You need kind of two hands for this. One sec. All right. Now that that's into the end, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug the other end into the back of your Xbox. Right, you're gonna take this, plug it. You can. I think you can plug it into here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, but I'm I've been plugging mine down here. Let's turn off the Xbox. Let's unplug it first. Right, let's turn it on that side. So pretty much there's two. There's one here and there's one right below it. I'm gonna use the one that's right below it. Get this this doesn't fall. Alright, plug it right in below it. Boom, you're done. Okay. Now that the audio is now going from your Xbox to your headset or your receiver. Now you're going to give the receiver power. Okay, it comes with with the USB power source. Just plug this into either the front or the back of your Xbox. I'm probably going to the front right now. There, I can never get these darn things in. All right, there we go. Now I'll just plug this to the very bottom. That is wrong. It's still in the very bottom, but make sure you're doing it in the back. Okay, now that there is a power button on the back of your Turtle Beaches, they're on the uh, receiver. So what you're going to do, as you can see right there, let's focus, power. Just, okay, as you can see right now, it is not on. Let's click the power button. It should, oh, you know what, my Xbox is turned off. And it's not plugged in, now it might do it. Alright, now... As you can see, power's on, power's off, power's on. Alright, now you're pretty much good to go. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take your headset. The headset comes with batteries, so just, um, it's on this side right here. Pop that open. Batteries, bada bing, bada boom. Turn it on. Okay, now, there are several buttons on the bottom of your headset. There's the jack for your track cable. There's the power button. There's also a effects and a volume switch. The effects adds more bass. I like to play without the bass. I think it sounds better. I mean, I'm used to playing with my surround sound, so I don't know, I'm just used to that sound. Now there also is a volume switch that just controls the game sound on your headset. I'm turning it loud, soft, whatever. All right, now what we're gonna do when you insert the batteries, click the power button. Now this will blink red. That means you are now connected to your receiver. As you can see, right now there are um, two. This pretty much means two lights. Um, pretty much means it's on and it's getting signal. Now, once you turn on your Xbox, give it a second here, it'll actually tell you when you're getting signal. Yep, there you go. Now you're getting audio signal. So, so that's how you know if you hooked it up correctly. If you don't have the red light, you didn't hook it up correctly. There should be three lights. Here, I guess this is the master volume. I don't know. I had mine. Almost, I didn't even touch that when I first turned it on. I just, oh, I just put it. I think it's all the way up. Also, a line in. I never played with that. So, all right, that's that's it, guys. So, if you need any help, just comment down below. Message me. Um, you can message me on Xbox. My gamer tag is embrace the one. Separate words. Um, have a good day. Okay, now after you set up your wireless receiver and everything, as you see I have set up over there, 
what you're going to do is you have your headset, you have your controller, and you have your chat cable. Now, what you're going to do is, uh, very simple, again, plug the curved end into the controller, like so, and plug the straight end, where are you, camera? Plug the straight end into the bottom of the headset on the microphone side. Boom. Now you have audio, or you have chat, you can talk to your friends. People will always say, hey, I thought these were wireless. Well, yes, they are wireless. They are wireless with the audio. Now, Microsoft does not allow companies to use, I don't know, how to, I don't know exactly the way to explain this, but basically an, an external company cannot use Microsoft's wireless technology for the headsets, so they have to use a cable. Um, now, when you have it all hooked up, you have your on and off switch, which is right here. You can see, focus this. On, okay, it's upside down. You have your on mute. You also have your chat. You can pretty much turn this all the way down, all the way up. Now, this is separate from the game audio, so you can control this completely separately. That's it. Now, if you have an echo, um, make sure everything is plugged in correctly. If not, if it's not plugged in all the way, it's hard to tell if it's plugged in all the way because I mean it is it is a pretty tight fit. So, just push it all the way. You should not have an echo. If you do have an echo, contact Turtle Beach customer support. Um, they'll be able to help you. I can't help you because I don't know what else to tell you. Also, um, also cool feature. This microphone, boom, whatever comes out. Let me, let me do this two with the two hands. It actually, comes out pretty easily. So, say if you don't want to use this. As a, or you don't want the microphone, it gets annoying. It comes out pretty cool. Just pop it right back in. And then, yeah. It's also adjustable, too. So, there you guys go. Again, have a good day. I added this at the end of the video. So, please subscribe, rate, comment. If you need any help, again, message me. Do whatever you can to get in contact with me. See you guys.